Yo, welcome back to the BST4 channel. Wing us what's going on? What is the deal? We're back at the junkyard. We're trying to get some um, wiring stuff situated. Now, I went to a couple of different other cars and they weren't quite it. I think a 2002 would do just nicely. A lot of things were already cut. Um, you know, you got the ejector harnesses. You know, a lot of people cut these off already. I'm going to go and start cutting. That goes to that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff already cut, man. There's not much that I can even, you know, scavenge off of this. So we just take this and keep it moving. God bless America. So I still didn't do this bike yet. Now the victory, I got to get that going. But we got other things happening. So, what we're doing now is getting the other bike on the treadmill. That's it right there. It's in like sixth gear. Just massaging the motor, getting a little stress on it. It's working its way. We got, we put around, uh, let's see. Oh man, we put six miles on it. So, give it a little rev, 20 miles. I know you guys are watching this video and you're like, man, this thing is shaking. This bike like really ready to jump off the daggone dyno, but it really isn't, man, because it has that big wheel on the back, and I'm sure there's like little flat spots in it because it's been sitting in one spot. So over time, he's gonna have to change that tire, and there is no tires in stock right about now, so he needs to be easy on this bike here. But by the way, the bike's running good. It's dope. Put the new oil pump in it. It's running right. Um, it's a little hot because you know the shop is hot, but um, I didn't turn the fans on the dyno That's really what happened, but um, the bike is really running good and everything like that Got it up to speed. We put around 20 miles on it normally We put around 40 but 20 miles would do right about now. It's really hot in here So we definitely had to really just shut it down and just switch gears and do something else Oh, you know where we at now? This thing is pretty battered and tattered. It's been, it has not been here for a year. It looks like it. This thing been here for a couple of months, but it already sank into the ground. I mean, this is a mess. Engine still tantalizing for many of those who wants to swap something. Other than that, man, this is bad. You know, the beautiful thing is the Torino is gone. Thank God. I don't have to look at that no more and think of crazy ideas, but how I operate now is totally different. I wouldn't even do that right about now wait a minute <laughs> it is still here <laughs> i thought it was gone it is still here oh my god i thought they got rid of it oh man i wish it wasn't here but it's bad anyway man it's so bad the funny thing is i'm uh, i met a body guy wow they closed the hood on it huh. i didn't even think they could close the hood I met a body guy and um, I showed him pictures and everything. He said, yo, man, it's possible, but man, it's a lot of work. And uh, this Mustang here, I like the wheels on it. Wouldn't mind taking the wheels and everything like that. But there's a lot of good stuff in here, man. You can make a car. You can make a couple of cars. So I, I, I got to tell you guys something. I was trying to save it. I went to a shop the other day, right? And I seen a heck of a swap. Y'all guys know a Cyclone, right? The Cyclone had a Coyote in it and it still had the four wheel drive system in it. He's working on it as we speak. And um, no parts for sale. Really? Oh, this vehicle is not for sale. Well, this one ain't too, too bad. Um, yeah, dude, I know y'all guys don't believe me. I think I'm talking crap, but, uh, yo, it's in there. Ah, this is the more newer one. Yeah, this would do, bro. This would do. Crossover tubes and everything. I need this whole thing here, bro but that engine would have been a lot of money but i'm sure it works so out of junkyard number one in the video we have gotten the wires everything lengthened properly um same color on this one here and then on this one here we used um 
same thing wires that are the same thing lengthen it just a little bit this goes right here running that and then on the other side here we lengthen this wire right here that's definitely need that and then we needed to um we got to figure out this man somehow we got to figure out make sure try to make it work try not to make it work but this one on this particular vehicle runs off a of vacuum so this ain't gonna go this would work well on that engine doing a four valve in that would be more easier using the same wire harness on that on this engine I'm still using a 96 setup on this engine with no knock sensor you know what I mean that one has one this car doesn't have one and this engine has two and it goes into one plug we've getting on um, the stuff plumbed up as far as um, all the fuel lines I'm coming up with something we definitely got that line ready to go everything is plumbed ready to go that's that but for the return either I buy a $58 piece that connects right into this which I rather you know I rather just have it plugged in you know boom and it's good or I cut another line I just don't want to use cut too many lines I already cut this one right here to use this you know what I mean to run that through there and then this side right here will catch the other fluid you know what I'm saying man so that's the one I'm running plus I need to get some plugs and I need to get this and I need to get that now for the thumbnail picture you guys if you let me see if you guys are good can you name this vehicle I'm not gonna tell you what it is you leave it down in the description below let's have a little fun with this can you name this vehicle I know what it is because this one is so dismantled you can't even see what it is so we'll send you a BST t-shirt or a cycle addictions t-shirt either one of those um, I'll get it made and send it to you so let me know and check it out to my man Mike's garage see you remember what I was telling you in the very beginning when you started doing your channel you build a community up or you guys who have Mustangs and everything out there man you can help the Crown Vic community with your knowledge because as you can see I'm rocking something of the sort in this car here and to my man Drift Dreams like I told you we're trying to build a community more than anything else um, Mike's Garage was able to help you he took the time out to really help you and get your stuff going that's important that's what makes doing all these videos more important than the money than the build and everything else it's just really the community within people in the states and out of the states that's the most important thing man also got to keep you guys updated on the m109 build well it's not only just one there is two of them now this run right here has a transmission issue like second gear third gear or something situation like that so we sent a transmission out to get undercut basically a race cut and we changing the shift forks um, and then we're going to do the bearings on it because we're to do the transmission you got to take everything apart like so now for the other M109 this is what it looked like before and now it looks like this M109 right here fully rebuilt and everything new transmission this that and the third case is a new it's decent now we had a situation where I used the old head on that <laughs> engine here which was a really bad move um i thought it was good but it wasn't good all right so now if you look underneath here right you kind of see some light right there you see it all right that's on all four corners all right boom 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 no compression so i had to take out the head and put this one in now we had a situation where two of the tappets right up top here we just slapped them in and see if you know the bike ran the bike ran beautiful but it has a slight tap on one not on two on the exhaust so now i'm over here feel the gauge and everything and it's too big right here in the literature right here it says the exhaust should be uh, in between 0 0.20 and 0 0.30 staying near around 40 so it's very loose so now we just need to get it in between spec and everything is good. So right now what I'm doing is, you know, I'm doing this all while the bike, you know, when the bike is um, in, the, um, in the frame. That's what I'm doing. Setting the timing. You know what I mean? No different than a 4.6 double overhead cam. Just figure it out. 
timing was a little rough to do on this, but here. So that's what I'm doing. And also I'm doing some other stuff for uh, 4.6 also too. So man, thank you guys for watching this episode of Build Something TV, man. Hope you guys were enlightened and please leave your answer in the description below. You know, just name the model. The year is 04. I'll help you with that. And you tell me, what is it? All right, and it's a Toyota. So I give you that. Now you gotta figure out what is it. All right, later. But if you build the right thing when the things are unpopular, that's, that's the time to go build something. <laughs>